Oh god, how do we land this thing? How do I land? Oh god, oh god! Five points deducted, break! Oh! <laughs> Into the ocean! Oh, that was the worst landing ever. <laughs>Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play That's What Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into the exciting world of Pilot Wings 64. This, of course, is an amateur flight simulator game. Uh, I like how you begin as an amateur, by the way. It's not a flight simulator game where you get to uh, live the dream of being a professional pilot. No, you get to live the dream of being an amateur. But it is an amateur flight simulator game for the Nintendo 64. It was actually one of the Nintendo 64's launch titles, if you can uh, believe it. Uh, in fact, I don't know why you wouldn't believe it. But uh, in this game, you play through a series of challenges to earn your pilot's license. Uh, you also fly a jetpack at one point, and they fire you out of a cannon like a human cannonball. So I guess you get your cannonball license, too. I don't know. I mean, I guess by the end, you are a licensed pilot. So not so amateur after all, so... Is this game really the fantasy of becoming a professional pilot? I'm not sure. Here are some of the characters we'll be playing as. Lark, who looks like he has no business being behind uh, the controls of a plane. But, uh, oh, fun fact here. So they're showing the uh, N64 controller in a diagram there. I'm actually not using the classic N64 controller. I'm using something called the SuperPad 64 Plus. And so you can see a, an image of it there on the screen, hopefully. And this is actually a wild controller. I, I found it a while back. Uh, I ordered mine on eBay. Um, I actually ordered it as is. It was unclear if it worked or not, but uh, I got a really good price on it. And lo and behold, it works. And actually, uh, by the way, the graphics on this are actually kind of cool. I'm, I'm quite looking forward to this. It looks like flying around an awesome golf course slash mini golf course or something like that. But anyway, the, the controller is very interesting. I know some people don't like it, um, but for me, I kind of feel like this is the N64 controller that is more similar to modern analog, like PlayStation and Xbox controllers that I'm used to. So some people, I guess, who grew up with the N64 controller don't like it, but I said many times, I didn't own an N64 back in the day, so I'm one of the, the few people who really does not like the N64 controller. I just can't adapt to it. My brain just doesn't work that way. So this is a way of having an N64 controller that feels almost like a PlayStation or Xbox controller, which my brain understands far more easily. Anyway, we have two different save games to select. So let's just go ahead and save game number one here. And we are a total beginner. So, okay. I like how we're earning our pilot's license, not in a plane of any kind, but our options are hang glider, rocket belt, and gyrocopter. Are, are gyrocopters actually a thing? Are there actual passenger gyrocopters that exist in the world? I don't know. I feel like whoever is selling me pilot's license lessons here is kind of ripping me off. Uh, now, I know Lark here, I think, was modeled after the character Ness, the classic Nintendo character Ness. So anyway, we'll, be, we'll start as him. This guy looks too cool. Goose, of course. And he's flying in an America flag. USA, USA. Uh, what do we got here? Ibis. Who are all these people first? Hawk. We have Robin. Oh, where's Batman? Lame joke of the, the video there. And Kiwi. All right, we'll start with Lark. I, I feel like we got to do Goose, man. This guy is just oozing patriotism. I think he sneezes patriotism. It, it comes out in, I guess, liquid form. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, one thing I, I do want to mention before we really get going is we are just a couple episodes away from the big... Five zero zero. That is correct. We are almost at 500 games played out of this book. A thousand one video games you must play before you die. Fly through three weight rings and land on the landing pad. Okay, we'll do. 500 games. Um, like, has it really been that long? Eh? You know, like, like think about. I, I don't know how many, how long you guys have been watching the channel. I mean, for everyone, it's a, it's a different amount of time. But uh, if you were one of the people who were watching me at the beginning, I had like 27 loyal subscribers for the first like three months of my existence. I, my channel didn't grow at all. It was super disheartening. But at the same time, I was like, I'm just gonna keep on going. I'll show them. Uh, nowadays, we're a little bigger than 27. We're still a, a small channel, but that's okay. Uh, that's that's how it be. 
But uh, for all you folks who uh, are loyal viewers, oh, we did not land that. Okay, I don't think that's a proper landing. Uh, I think I'm dead. <laughs> He's like flailing around like a turtle on his back. Um, so we got the rings. The landing was a little rough. Uh, can we replay that? Oh, we just get to watch it. We don't actually, they don't actually let you try again. People in the castle, that was their entertainment for the day. They were watching me uh, totally fail. Um, no, okay. I, I don't want to keep watching myself fail. Retry, that's what I wanted. Okay, so clearly I have to press some kind of button. I haven't read the instruction manuals for this game, and truth be told, I have learned my lesson over the years that playing games from like the 80s and the Atari, you know, ST era and stuff like that, it's sometimes helpful to crack open that instruction manual. Hey, there's like a circus down there and stuff. That's cool. Or it's a tent there uh, spraying for termites or cockroaches or something. Uh, but I, I usually am okay with N64 games not having to read the instructions. But I guess we will see. Oh, I'm all over the place. I'm like drunk. Okay, there's only a couple of buttons here. One of these has to land. Let's see what we can do. Oh, yeah, I just pulled all the buttons at once. I don't know what button did it, but uh, it worked. Success! Oh, there we go, guys. This is the amazing, pixel-perfect gameplay you tuned in to see today. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, for the 500th episode, something special is a coming. Um, it might be a live stream. You didn't hear it from me. But check out my channel. I might have already scheduled it, actually, by the time this video goes up. Um, so there may be something special coming for the big 500. But re regardless, um, 500 games. It has been quite the journey. I still have five. I'm only half done. I still have 500 more to go. Hey, we're a beginner now. Congratulations. But uh, anyway. Anyway, I'll talk a lot more about that uh, when we actually get to the 500. For now, let's focus on pilot wings. So I got a thousand points. Wait, hold on. Can I go back? Um, am I stuck here? No, I can go. Okay. So let's try the... We, we aced the hang glider. Let's go to rocket belt territory. And I think we need a little gold, good old-fashioned American know-how on this one. So Goose is going to take the reins. I wonder if they got that name from Top Gun. You know, the like 80s... Uh, uh, like a, what would you call it? Like a jet fighter enthusiast's action movie with Tom Cruise and uh, Val Kilmer? But is it just an action movie? I don't know. The only thing I remember about Top Gun, I watched it once because everyone talked about how great it was. And there was like a lot of sweaty dudes playing basketball and then a couple of shots of real jo uh, jets flying around, which I guess was cool, but just seemed a little dated. Like I didn't 100% get why people were nuts over Top Gun, but maybe it's the kind of thing that like, you had to be there. Um, I know I'm, it's kind of the same way for uh, Jaws. Hey, look at this, a Ferris wheel. I don't even know where we're supposed to go here, so this is our test run. Let's go invade this castle. Um, yeah, I feel like if you did not watch Jaws when you were younger or when it came out, it's really hard to, like, see see the... Not specialness, but I don't know. It's just, like, I've watched Jaws... Uh, as an adult, and I'm just sort of like, uh, yeah, I mean, it's a decent movie. Uh, but it didn't, like, I wasn't, like, on the edge of my seat the whole time. Um, I mean, I guess it's kind of the same thing as what we're doing with video games here. We're trying to appreciate older games, games that may look dated by today's standards, but still have a lot of, uh, fun, entertaining value in them, so. Uh, and I'm not, by the way, saying that Jaws or, uh, what was the other movie, Top Gun, are not good movies, just that, like, they were fine movies, I, I didn't dislike them, but they, uh, you know, I think the way people talk about them, they're like, you know, some people are like, oh my God, Jaws is my favorite movie. I'm just like, yeah, I mean, it was okay. Um, but I've, I've seen better. <laughs> I don't know, is that sacrilege to a Jaws enthusiast out there? Maybe it is. Give me hell in the comments, guys. Um, we did not do good on that. I, I wasn't really paying attention. I guess I was supposed to pop balloons. So let's retry this. Uh, I think I even saw a balloon over the uh, castle. Yeah, there's one like right over there. So here we go. This guy has long legs, which you got to figure is not good if you have jets of fire blasting out. Balloon cleared! Blasting out from behind you. Like, look, his, le his legs are going to be toast. He's going to come down and his pants will have been completely incinerated. He'll have third degree burns on his legs. Can we land on this castle? 
we just like come stand here hold on can we come appreciate the view here will this work wait why can't i land on that okay here we go okay he's standing on the castle but he did not want to stay i guess two points deducted for destroying shingles okay we keep losing points from hitting the ground where are the other balloons is there only one balloon i'm confused i feel like I, this move this uh level makes me want to rewatch the rocketeer you guys ever see that one that's that's a classic like indiana jones style disney adventure movie from the 90s that that movie needed a sequel that movie needed a sequel it's a great movie um, has Nazis, has scientists, has um, Howard Hughes as a character. Oh, we were supposed to just burst the one balloon. Okay, hold on. I want to retry one more time. I th Now that I know what we're supposed to do, I can do this way better. All right, let's go. Come on, Peavy. That's uh, the Rocketeer's uh, engineering buddy in uh, the Rocketeer movie. Peavy. He's sort of like his uh, his Q, but the guy's sort of like uh, just like an engineer from like Iowa. And anyway, I'm not going to spoil the movie for you. You can go watch it if you want. But Cliff Secord is the main character. I know things about some movies, guys. Some movies. Anything that is has a passing resemblance to Indiana Jones, I know about. Because <laughs> I love Indiana Jones. Okay, hold on. Here we go. We're going to land this properly. Proper. Oh, yeah, landing accomplished. <laughs> Ooh, we almost got perfect. I will take it. All right, next. I keep wanting to use the D-pad because in a normal N64 controller, when you are holding the analog stick, your hand physically can't access the analog, the uh, D-pad. But on this controller, the super pad, because it's basically shaped like a PlayStation controller, I can, my thumb can touch the analog and switch over to the D-pad very easily. Which is, I think, why I love this controller uh, for the N64. Um, actually, I secretly want to play Super Nintendo games on this and see how they hold up, just because the D-pad actually feels very solid. Anyway, congratulations! We earned a badge! Sweet! Rocket badge. We're going to affix that right to, our, uh, right to our belt, I guess. The rocket belt next time we go up. Ooh, and extra... I want to unlock extra games, so let's hop into the gyrocopter. All right, Goose, you did well, bro. Your uh, your uh, your unflinching patriotism uh, served us well, I suppose. We could give Hawk a shot. Robin, Robin is a little sassy. Look, she's giving us that wink. Like, what's she winking about? Um, actually, let's give her a shot. All right, Robin, you sold me. The wink did it. One test to go. Seventy needed for a bronze badge. We're not aiming for bronze though. We're aiming for gold. What does it take to get a gold? Fly through all three rings in order and land on the runway. All right. I wonder if we pause the game. Oh, we can check the map. Oh, interesting. Oh, here we go. Huh. These little islands are pretty cool. So Pilot Wings has always been kind of a tech demo game. Uh, for the uh, Super Nintendo, there was the original Pilot Wings, and that game uh, was basically a tech demo for the mode 7. Um, so mode 7 in, in Super Nintendo is the mode where uh, things were sort of like pseudo 3D. And if you go play Pilot Wings, you'll see like the, uh, oh god, there's the ring. Okay, and here's the next one. We got it. All right, now where's the landing? Follow the radar. Um, if you go play the original Pilot Wings, and I actually have played it on my channel, so you can just look it up if you don't want to play it yourself. But uh, the whole world sort of is 3d but everything is flat like it's one big flat ground texture and that is what uh oh god how do we land this thing how do i land oh god oh god five points deducted break oh <laughs> into the ocean oh that was the worst landing ever um we're not done though we get another shot okay that was rough i, I will grant you guys that was not my best uh, work. Okay, she died. We killed Robin. All right. Um, anyway, Pilot Wings has always been a bit of a tech demo game. So the original Pilot Wings was to show off uh, show off the, the Mode 7 feature of the Super Nintendo. Pilot Wings 64 here was designed to show off the capabilities of the uh, N64. 
Um, did I say N64 from Mode 7? I meant Super Nintendo. Anyway. Um, so yeah, Pilot Wings has always kind of been... Right? It's like, it is a game, but it's half a tech demo. It's half just like, look at all the stuff we can do on our console. Um, and speaking of, you know, Top Gun and the military and stuff, fun fact, the developers who made Pilot Wings here uh, were actually... Uh, not game developers. They were military software engineers who had done a lot of work creating uh, simulators, vehicle and uh, aircraft simulators for the army. And Nintendo was like, hey, you guys want to make video games? And they were like, yeah. And uh, hence, well, that was a rough landing, but it worked. All right, we did it. Success. All right, I figured out the buttons too. I it's a, it's, a, it's a double success because I haven't looked up the manual yet, and I just figured out the buttons. Landing accuracy six, landing impact six, sixty two points. I did not get. I I need eight more points. I did not get enough points to unlock the next level. This is one thing that uh, I'm not a huge fan about when it comes to pilot wings. Is that like you're not allowed to go to higher levels until you like ace the earlier levels? But I'm like I don't know. Oh, that was good enough, wasn't it? I didn't crash into the circus or anything. This this island is interesting because it has so many like interesting landmarks. It's like, yeah, it is interesting to fly over, but I also kind of semi want to like walk into some of these buildings and like I want like an RPG element. You guys remember when I played Mario Golf? It was like one of the early games I played, maybe in my first year. One thing that I really thought was cool about Mario Golf is that uh it wasn't just golfing, you could also walk around the golf course and like interact with NPCs and like you could go to the clubhouse if you wanted. Like it, it was it was a golf game. It was a golf game. But uh, it also had like all these other elements that you could explore. I would like to explore this island. I want Pilot Wing 64 to let me explore this island. Hey, what's going on? Break. Break. Go ahead and stop. There we go. Landed outside target zone. Did we? What? I did not. That's like right in the target zone. Okay, hold on. Try this one more time. Retry. I guess 62 is my high score. You keep your high score. So wait, what, what am I supposed to do? I thought I was supposed to like... Oh, I guess I wasn't far enough along the runway. Man, they are so picky. They're like, well, you can't just land at the beginning of the runway. You have to like really get in the runway. We have to like know that you're there i don't know why the guy manning the runway is like a keanu reeves surfer dude but he totally is. anyway let's see if we can land so first i wasn't centered then i was centered but not in the right spot it, it's like the runway is being manned by like some guy who like he really just needs a life because all of his rules just constrain everybody else okay here we go we're not going to land until here, and then we will break. There, did we land appropriately? Are you happy now? Landing accomplished. Everyone comes out and like high fives me aggressively. They're like, that was awesome, bro. You landed that thing like a champ. Points to qualify one. Wait, did I not qualify? Oh, we got a silver badge. Oh, if I got one more point, I guess I would have got gold. You know what? I'm going to take silver. Silver is good enough for me. Wait, I got a hundred. Oh, that is gold. I was going to say, I got a hundred points here and I only got bronze. No, these are gold medals. Silver, okay. How do you get to... Uh... Oh, we can totally do the extra games. Birdman. Holiday. So I think these extra uh, modes... Yeah, let you fly around in a bird suit and just explore the island. Oh my god, who's going to do this? I mean, Hawk is the obvious choice. Hey, wait, these are all kind of named after... Oh, wait, I get it. They're all named after birds. It only took me 20 minutes. A lark, a goose, a hawk, a robin, an ibis. An ibis is an Egyptian bird, I think. And a kiwi. Oh, my God. Will you guys believe that I didn't notice that all these characters were named after birds? Oh, my God. Anyway, the developers of this game, yeah, they came from military background. Um, and originally, I think... When they first started building the game, they it was much more physics based, but very quickly uh, they knew. I mean, they knew they they weren't trying to not make it physics based. But oh my god, this is just such a casual flyby now. Now we can just 
explore the island at our own pace, guys. Just grab a grab a whiskey, sit back, and listen listen to the soothing sounds of Gaming J as I serenade you over this calm and peaceful island. Oh, I crashed into a house and died. That was not intentional. Oh, his head is stuck in the ground like a cartoon. Hey, okay, let's. I failed. I failed at the bonus level. The bonus level that's supposed to be a casual uh, attempt of just flying around, I failed at. That is pretty hilarious. Um, anyway, yes, the developers knew very quickly that uh, they didn't want to make it physics-based, and they uh, they changed it around. I'm like, I'm like uh, Falcon in this, from like the Marvel movies. They changed it around to have arcade physics, which I always thought was interesting. The uh, oh, you have to like flap. I understand. You have to flap to move. Um, arcade physics is, is really a hilarious term to me because, I mean, it just means unrealistic physics. Like, this game still has physics. It just doesn't follow, like, real-world physics. And uh, arcade physics is... Oh, we're about to die again. Oh, we lived. Arcade physics is basically just, like, physics that would make the world more fun. You know, like, that's basically what it is. And I'm okay with that. I, uh... Oh, God. Well, we killed Hawk twice. He's done. <laughs> oh no, you crashed. That's how you end the level when you're done. Uh, just flying around. That's how you end the level. What is the hint? When landing, press B to flap your wings, straighten your body, and descend. You cannot land on steep slopes. Okay, can we get out of this now? Um, oh, here's our buttons. Oh, we could do this on... Oh, snap a photo? Move camera. Interesting. Um, let's give... Oh, wait, let's get out of here. And we're going to go to the second level of our pilot's license. Let's see what we can earn here. Uh, who have we not tried? Kiwi, it is your turn. You look like you know your way around a hang glide. Ooh, now we're on Everfrost Island. Now we need 140 points. Take a photo of the flames coming from the oil plant smokestack. Oh, okay, things are getting more complicated. They're contracting us out for photos and stuff now. So you can move the camera. Snap a photo. Interesting. Okay. But yeah, I, I'm more of a fan of uh, like racing, like arcade style racing games than I am of simulator games, I think, generally. Uh, both can actually be quite fun, but, uh, you know, like Burnout, like one of my favorite series of racing games. And... Photo, okay. Photo is acceptable. And that, and Burnout has totally arcadey physics. But again, I think, um, arcade, oh god. Arcade to me just means, uh, more fun. Physics that are more forgiving, physics that are unrealistic, but in a way that is fun for you. So yeah, if, if I could snap my fingers and change how physics worked in the world and make them arcadey in the real world, I totally would. Oh, perfect landing! I'm actually not bad at hang gliding, if you can believe it. Uh, my photo sucked. <laughs> what? They said the photo was okay. Hold on. Let's uh, retry this one. They said my photo was okay. Did you guys not see photo okay? Where I come from, a passable photo is just that. I, I guess two out of 40 is passable in the world of, uh, in the world of pilot wings here. But, man, the hang glider is super slow, though. I think hang gliding would actually be very fun to do in real life, but, uh, oh. Okay, we'll try this photo. Is that not acceptable? We get a better one. Photo okay. Photo okay. Tell me when you like the photo, game. Okay, I got a bunch of photos. You get to pick the, your favorite one. Oh, wait, is there another smokestack over here? No, like I'm looking at the brown dots on the radar. I think those are hot springs that will like just push the hang glider up. All right, we got photos. I think my photos were zero points. I have zero photo. Get to land. Not even in the zone. Let's see what we got for our photo points, son. Just more curious. 
if we uh if we got enough points 37 points uh check which photo i don't know the one that the one with the most points is is the one that i will give you uh save this photo no why would i what <laughs> why would i save this Oh, I see. So the closer, the better. Okay. I, 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 I got a feeling I know what you guys want. We're going to retry this. Okay, and also landing is not the problem. So we might be able to look straight down and take a photo. That's my theory. I'm going to try and go straight down, which means I'm going to be flying through a smokestack. Kiwi, hold your breath. Is there's going to be a lot of noxious chemicals coming your way in about five minutes. Kiwi, I hope you can hold your breath. Because it is coming your way. Okay, here we go. Hopefully I don't crash into this smokestack. They want a photo of fire? I, who wants this photo and for what reason? This is like a really weird request to give to someone who's trying to earn their pilot's license. But we're going to get them this photo. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. There's your photo. Oh, she burned. She burned. Okay. And now we land. Okay, that photo came at great personal cost. Kiwi, land. Oh, no. Okay. Backup plan. Circle around, Kiwi. How quickly can you turn this thing? This thing actually turns on a dime. It is actually very maneuverable. Are we just flying around and around? Oh, God, where's the zone? No, Kiwi! No! Oh, God. All right. Let's see if that worked. Our photo was worth nothing. Okay. Well, we're slowly... We're we You know what we're doing is by the process of elimination, we're weeding out how this level works. So I guess what I'm going to do is take six very close photos of the smokestack and then just try to land normally. Going over it was not the solution. I think I'm thinking too deeply into it. These aren't meant to be intricate puzzles. They're like very basic tasks, but it's confusing my brain because I'm not very intelligent. Um, I like, by the way, how this game is called Pilot Wings 64. Um, I mean, <laughs> pretty much every Nintendo 64 game was called, uh, you know, something 64. How close can we get this? Boom. There you go. Six amazing photos. Don't tell me those ones aren't okay. Uh, but yes, yeah, so like every every N64 game was like famously something, you know, something 64. Oh, Kiwi land! What are you doing? Kiwi! Oh, you... F <laughs> Kiwi sucks. Like she's writhing around like a turtle. We still only get 39 out of 60. Okay, one more shot. And then we'll just go on to another test. I don't know if we're passing this, this uh, part of the license. So we'll see. Okay, any button basically initiates landing protocols. Um, Pilot Wing 64, Mario Kart 64, Mario 64. I mean, Nintendo pulled the same stunt when uh, they made the Super Nintendo. Like, everything was super this, super that, super Metroid, super baseball, super this. Uh, speed decreasing. I don't know how to fix that. Speed me up then. Speed me up. Um, anyway, yeah, Nintendo, they, they like... It's interesting. Like, I mean, I, I feel like uh, Super This, Super That, that actually makes a lot of sense for the Super Nintendo. Isle Wayne 64, Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, that makes sense, too. I was a little disappointed when they uh, made the GameCube that uh, everything wasn't Cube. You know, like Mario Cube and, uh, you know, Mario Kart Cube and stuff, but they didn't do that. They reverted back, though, naming everything after their console when they... Uh, Made the Wii. Get land! Land, you fool! I landed so well the... Okay, forget it. We're moving on. I landed so well the first few times, but Kiwi sucks. I blame it all on Kiwi. Quit. Uh, anyway, yeah, when they made Wii games, they totally reverted back. They start calling everything Wii. It was like Mario Brothers Wii, Mario Kart Wii. You know, everything was Wii. And with the DS, everything was DS. Also with the Mario Kart... Uh... All right. Uh, or on the Wii U, everything was Super Mario Brothers Wii U or Smash Brothers Wii U. <laughs> it's kind of a weird naming convention when you think about it. Like 
super everything makes sense. Everything 64 makes sense. But in the Wii, in the Wii U era, you're just kind of phoning it in. You're just throwing the name of your console at the end of every game. Like, imagine there was Uncharted PlayStation 3 or Crash Bandicoot PlayStation 4. You know, like if everything just was the name of the game plus the console was on, it's kind of a weird naming convention. I don't know. Uh, all right, we have a bunch of rings to go through. I kind of wasn't paying attention. Also, we are in a city now, which is cool. Oh my God, we killed her. We're in a city flying through uh, rings on the N64. Does this remind you of any game out there? Like maybe a notoriously bad game that the angry video game nerd played years ago called Superman 64? Why is it always rings? I feel like that could be the, uh, well, maybe not rings specifically, but something like that could be the angry video game nerds equivalent of Indiana Jones, like snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Like rings. Why did it have to be rings? Why am I so bad at this? Okay, where, where are we going even? Okay, there's a ring. My time on this is going to be horrible as well. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's, can we, can we restart this? I also want to see what my objectives are. It's like six rings. Fly through the nine rings and land on the landing point. Okay. So we just got to go through all nine rings. Probably in any order. Um, okay, so let's plan things out here. And we're going to go through strategically. Oh God, it is so hard. To maintain your up and down position and your horizontal momentum with the jetpack. Go! Oh, we missed it! Okay. Here we go. You guys ready for this? Go! We missed it again! <laughs> Why am I so bad at this? Okay. Go! Up. All right, we, fi we went through one, finally. Okay, let's go over here and we have tons of fuel. What? How did we miss this one? How are we not going through this one? Bonus ring cleared. What? That's a bonus ring. Two points deducted, two points deducted. Hey, look at this fun one. You have to go through them vertically. Okay. Got that one. Just fall through this one here. Ooh, all right. We're getting them. I guess it's only the horizontal rings that I have an insane level of challenge with oh god okay just fly through this one go 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 oh here's three in a row this is not gonna go well we somehow missed that one um okay here we go fly over like this let's just get a view and see what we have to accomplish here i bet the people who can speed run this game would see me playing and just like i think i've got mental problems or something <laughs> like why is he so bad they're like, no, I get he's never played before, but why is he so bad? There's one more ring. We're here somewhere? Where are we? I like how the city is on a total island. It's a totally industrialized coastal city. Um, is there a ring down here somewhere? Oh, I hear cars and stuff, too. Where's this last ring? Oh, it must be really high up, then. Oh my god! What? We died? Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um. Okay, we'll try one more time for this one. If we fail, we'll go on to the gyrocopter. But where was that last ring? I'm so confused. I, I kind of want to... Oh, it was way up here. Okay, let's get this one first. There's probably like an ideal way to go through all of these. Again, the speedrunners will have figured it out. And there's ones you fall through somewhere around here. Oh, oh. Okay, we'll fall. Oh, we didn't fall through that one somehow. There we go. It's hard to like judge perspective sometimes. I'm like, I'm perfectly lined up. And then I go right through it. Okay, now we're lined up. Like they need shadows or something to give you a sense of like... How you're lining up with these circles. Alrighty. Okay. Get this one here. This ring is moving. That's actually why it's, it was so hard to hit, I bet. Alright, we got it. 
go ahead and get this bonus ring too. Oh god, where am I? Okay, we got the bonus ring. Bonus ring's probably not needed, it's probably literally a bonus. But I do not care. The game I'm having so much difficulty with, being able to get at least one bonus is a big achievement on my my part. All right, we're going to go ahead and get this last final ring. This one is like the trickiest one of all to get. I should have got it first because if I screw up here, I'll die. Oh, we got a bonus. Wait, bonus ring. Wait, where's the last ring? Oh, there is none. Oh, I just need to land. All right. Well, here we go. We need to land. Easy, easy. We don't want to break our legs. Where's where's the target even? Oh, we're not even over it. Okay, well, did we figure that out? No, whoa. So hard to get. Okay, we got it. Yes, rough landing. Our knees buckled. We might have some damage to our cartilage. Landing impact, five of ten. We did it, though. We passed the level. Time was poor, but whatever, I will take it. That's a solid bronze. Oh no, it does, it's not even anything. We didn't get any kind of metal. All right, let's try the last gyrocopter. You know, we passed the first round of licensing and I was like, hey, maybe we'll actually, let's go back to Lark. Maybe we'll actually be able to uh, pass all the levels in this game, but I forgot how difficult pilot wings are, Crescent Island. Um, how, how the difficulty sort of ramps up as you go to the higher levels. It's like, it's, a, it's it's a classic video game thing. If you make a video game that only has like eight levels, you make those levels really hard because once people are done with those levels, they're done with your game. So if you make like a game that has like four, if a game has 40 levels, you know, okay, it's gonna be a lot of levels that uh, sort of slowly scale in difficulty. When you play a game with like four or five levels, you're in for it, man. Level one might give you a freebie, but then after that you are, it's tears, tears to get further in the game. Fly through as many rings as possible, then land on the runway. I will take that challenge, arbitrary flight school man. I don't know how any of this stuff's supposed to make me a better pilot. I can clearly already fly these vehicles. But you guys are the licensing committees. The licensing body for pilots in this strange land of Nintendo. But like in the land of Nintendo, before you can be a pilot, if you want to move from amateur to professional, you have to master the three basic, the three most fundamental basics of flying. The gyrocopter, the jet belt, and this hang glider where you just sort of hang there. And your reward, should you perform admirably, is a birdman suit where you can become like the birds. And then you will be known by the title of pilot. Everyone will know of your achievements. That works in Nintendo land. Um, I... Can I even get this thing? My angle is, like, really weird here. No. And I might crash. Five points deducted. Okay, let's just go and get this one here. I guess we'll come back for that other one, maybe. Gyrocopter is actually the easiest thing to fly. Because it is the most like a plane. You know, you just sort of, like, fly. <laughs> like, the hang glider, I kind of feel like you're just... Holding on, waiting for the winds to eventually take you where you need to go. With the jet, you, you'd think the jetpack would be the easiest because you have total control over your your up and down and your back and forth movement, but it's actually tricky to get them to line up. The thing that makes the plane here, gyrocopter, easier is that you're constantly moving forward. So just like a real aircraft, you kind of just have to worry about like the left and right. And it's like driving a car or a cart in Mario Kart, you know? Like it's just oddly... For some reason, it's a lot easier than uh, than that jetpack. Oh God! Okay, we got it. We're gonna uh, cross the crescent here. I feel like I'm flying into Jurassic Park. Welcome to Jurassic Park! And they go over the crest, and then it's like, din, 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 and there's like brontosauruses and stuff. Instead, I cross the crescent, and all I see are spoiled tourists on catamarangs, drinking alcohol on the beach, littering and destroying the, the beautiful, natural beauty of Crescent Island. No dinosaurs. I feel like that Jurassic Park song is like iconic. You you couldn't you couldn't riff off of it and, and make 
and do something else with that song because people would know you're just stealing from Jurassic Park. Oh god, can we get up here? Ah! Life finds a way, that's what uh, uh, Jeff Goldblum says in Jurassic Park. I think his name is... I was gonna say Malcolm? Ian Malcolm. I was gonna say Malcolm Gladwell, but I'm like, no, that's an actual dude. That's like a real scientist who has had very few encounters. Oh, I'm low on fuel. Very few encounters with dinosaurs, as far as we know. Um, all right, suiciding into the catamaran because <laughs> we're low on fuel. That that actually was the most fun level that I've played so far. I want to do it again. All right, we, we obviously failed. They're like, hey, no suicide runs. This is a family resort. Save that for the R-rated Sega resort down the road. Anything goes over there. The lawless, a lawless uh, warlord state in Segaville. Nintendoville is like all pleasant and happy and PG-13. People are like Ken and Barbie dolls. You know, they don't have like any any genitals or anything. Like they're they're just completely completely sexless. Smiling automatons and it's Segaville. Segaville is like the hardcore place, you know, where everyone from Nintendoville goes to party. Where like, uh, you know, nin Nintendo re in, in Nintendoville, everything is rated G for everyone. But in Segaville, everything is rated nothing because they don't rate their experiences. Everything is uh, not even R rated, man. It's just like X. It's like unrated. Of course, in practical terms, that means you hang out with a uh, blue hedgehog. It's not as racy as it may seem at first. Okay, here we go. Take this one wide. Uh, I'm totally missing it, aren't I? I totally flew around it. All right, we took it really wide. Really wide. We're gonna have to double back for that. I might run out of fuel again. Oh God, and we exploded. Okay, one more shot, one more shot. If I can't pass this, I can't pass it. Um, I mean, we're definitely not making it to uh, another level here. So this is the last level that we'll be experiencing here today. Uh, but I'm curious how many of you grew up with Pilot Wing 64 here? How many of you got it when you got your N64? Like, were you one of the people who, you know, maybe your dad went out and picked the console up, like at launch or something like that, or you got it for Christmas and uh, you spent... You know, the, the first day with your brother in the basement playing Pilot Wing 64, or a friend came over, or whatever you and your sister played, or maybe you and your dad played, who knows? Maybe even mom got in on the mix, I don't know. But uh, were you one of the people who had Pilot Wing 64 here? Um, it is a game in the book. That was one video games you must play before you die. And I think it's, okay, we totally missed that one. All right, we're not passing this level. Let's just have fun. Um, I, I, feel like this is a relatively I mean it's it's a it's a totally not relatively it's a totally iconic game um, that uh, you know anyone who owned an N64 basically has has at least tried this game um, I think as far like I, I'm kind of thinking of it in terms of like if I had played pilot wings you know if I if I had just finished playing pilot wings on the Super Nintendo and then I played pilot wing 64 would I be impressed because I'm kind of thinking like back in the day when the N64 came out, people were still coming off the Super Nintendo. Yeah, Pilot Wings was like an older game, but nonetheless, oh my God, there's no way out of this. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> okay, we'll do it one more time. Um, even though Pilot Wings was an older game, I'm, I'm thinking like people are coming out of, uh, would have come at this game with the mentality of like the Super Nintendo is just ending. So if you played this after playing Pilot Wings, would you be impressed? And I think you would actually. I think this, I mean, in some ways, this is the same game. So if you've played Pilot Wings on the Super Nintendo, you've kind of played this. Like, it's it's the same core game, but it is fundamentally upgraded. Um, it's similar to how they upgraded Star Fox. You know, there was Star Fox on the Super Nintendo and then Star Fox on the N64. Although I have a bit of a blind spot when it comes to Star Fox because it was one of my favorite Super Nintendo games. And I feel like the N64 game was just unnecessary. Like, I've never like sat down and really played it. But, uh, like, nostalgia is blinding me on that one. I know it. Uh, but, yeah, for me, Star Fox on the Super Nintendo is better than the one on the N64. And, uh, you know, I'll fight you about it if you want to take it that far. But, uh, anyway, but, <laughs> but yeah, so 
but but assuming that uh, Pilot Wings on the Super Nintendo was not my favorite game of all time, I think I would look at this game and say, yeah, like this game feels like a noticeable upgrade. Um, the 3D, compared to what the Super Nintendo did with 3D, this 3D is very impressive. It is very impressive. It is leagues beyond what uh, the Super Nintendo could do, even with the Super FX chip, right? This, when Star Fox came out on the Super Nintendo, I think people sometimes forget how revolutionary that game was. And it's like unshaded polygons. Like it's really basic 3D, but it uh, it was it blew people's minds, blew my mind as a kid, which is I think why I played it so much and got so into it. Um, but yeah, I think I think this is like a solid upgrade. I think it's iconic because it is an N64 launch game. So like if you've never heard of this game, but you're an N64 person, you probably want to be checking this game out. Like that's that's my suspicion. Um, if uh, you know if you are into flying games uh, and you do like retro games, you might want to check this one out. Uh, on the flip side, you know like. It's not like it's, it's an amazingly deep game with like tons of gameplay that'll keep you going for days and days. So like, you know, there are some classic old games that I think uh, gameplay wise still have a lot to offer these days. I think this is solid. I would I would rank this as a solid entry. I think the controls are uh, decent. I especially like on the gyrocopter. I feel like I really like the gyrocopter. Uh, the other two modes are fine, the hang gliding and the jetpack, but uh, I think I think it's a, a decent game on the N64, and those are my thoughts on it. I don't know, what do you guys think? Does my long, meandering rambling about this game coincide with your own opinion? Do you have your own thoughts, uh, your own suggestions about uh, where you think this game lays? And do you have your own memories for this game? Uh, if so, feel free to share them in the comments down below. As always, you know, whether you agree with my opinion or my assessment or not, uh, I hope you guys had fun today. I hope I was able to give you a solid dose of nostalgia. I hope this reminded you of watching your little brother uh, incompetently try to play N64 games and you sit there and just struggle to not pull the controller out of his hand and do better because obviously anyone who knows this game at all probably was watching me play like, oh, Jay, oh, God. <laughs> but hey, that's half the fun of the channel, right? So yes, I hope you guys ultimately had fun no matter... Uh, no matter what you think of this game. And uh, other than that, uh, you guys take care of yourselves until we meet again. And do remember that uh, coming up soon is the 500th episode. We are so close. Please join me for that 500th episode. It may be a live stream. You didn't hear it from me. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. But if it is, and you do happen to join, it would be so awesome to have a whole bunch of you guys uh, to, to talk to as we go through the 500th game together. But anyway... I'm off for real now, so you all take care of yourselves, and we will catch you next time. Peace. Okay, that was rough. I, I will grant you guys, that was not my best uh, work. Okay, she died. We killed Robin.